Hola, welcome to a brand new episode of Beating Faces. I'm April, aka the Brooklyn Wolf of Makeup. I hope you guys are having a good day, a good week. Remember, please wash your hands and your ass. It's hot outside. Wear your mask. Just cut it out, please. <laughs> As you can see, we have another Angry Fickle Fans video. You know, this community, there's never a dull moment. And there has been a couple of things going on that has been pissing me off. <sighs> Y'all really need to stop. But I am going to be talking about those things while doing this gorgeous look. Now, this is not a recreation of anything, but I was inspired by the Young Bucks' gear. They wore their Golden Elite gear at Fight for the Fallen this past Wednesday. The blues and the golds and the silver. It was like a white silver. So pretty. I wanted to do a look by it. I love it. So dope. If you guys want a tutorial on this, I will be more than happy to do it for you. I mean, you guys are going to see how I do it. But if you want a more detailed tutorial, let me know. I'm always down to provide different content on my channel. So let me know and drop it in the comments. But until then, let's go and see why these fickle fans are just so mad. All right, so you already know the drill. Brows are done. Eyes are primed. I did get started on this one, but unfortunately, it had some technical difficulties, but y'all didn't miss anything. So, these past couple of months have been on a whole other level when it comes to wrestling, and it's not just in the actual wrestling world. It's just, you know how the community is, and if you guys watched my last tales of the angry fickle fans video you already know what i spoke about and it's just a lot of things that bother me and i'm thinking about making this into a series because there's just too much going on and i feel like i need to talk about it and one popular thing that i want to talk about and this has been going on since october and you already know the ratings war. The war between WWE and AEW. Oh my god, the Wednesday night wars. So I thought that the war was over. I kind of lost the hype, I want to say, back in December. Because, you know, everyone was getting all hyped up and ready. We're going to have the Wednesday night wars. Which company is going to win, WWE or AEW? I really didn't care. Y'all already know if you've been watching me for some time, I am all hashtag team wrestling. I'm not going to lie, I am a little biased when it comes to AEW. I do like that product more, but I do watch WWE TV from when I can. You know I've been trying to watch all types of wrestling, but this one is strictly on WWE and AEW. So for the past couple of months... Everyone has been caught up in this so-called ratings war. Now, let me tell y'all something. I don't care. I don't care about numbers. Like I said, if you've been watching me for some time, you already know it's all about the product for me. I really don't care about the numbers. I don't care who wins in the ratings. But apparently, y'all care about it. Now, my question is why? Because unless you work for either company, unless you work for either a station, whether if it's Fox or was it USA or TNT, why does it matter? I mean, I get it. I know, I know how you guys are when it comes to a product. Y'all gonna stick by it. And I know there's been a war within itself in the community. You know, I've heard a lot. I've read a lot. AEW fans can be a little a little much and that's me saying it very nicely we can be a little well they can be a little much same ring same way with WWE y'all could be a little too much but things are kind of getting a little out of hand you know everyone on Thursday Thursday mornings Thursday afternoons they're posting what show won in the ratings and they're fun to watch but isn't the whole point of just us watching wrestling? You know, a lot of us watch both programs the same night. Like for me, for example, my main show that I watch on Wednesdays is AEW. But if I have the time after the show is off, I go back and watch NXT. The only time, I'm not going to lie, the only time I watch NXT and AEW is 
if NXT has a crazy card. And, you know, I kind of want to live tweet about it. I want to live tweet about both shows and things like that. But y'all really need to relax. Because, like I said, unless you work for either company or the stations or anything that has to do with the numbers of the ratings, why does it matter? And I want to know... Let's say I care about the ratings. Let's say, because, you know, I think this past Wednesday, let me see, AEW won the ratings this past Wednesday, right? The past two weeks, NXT, I think they won three weeks straight in the ratings. Cool. That's fine. The show was good. Both shows were great. NXT kind of won in the Great American Bash. I'm not going to lie. But what do I get? What do I get for recording? Do I get a balloon? Do I get a prize? Like, what do I get to let the people know that my favorite wrestling program won? Y'all need to tell me. Put, tell me in the comments. Do I win something? Like, can y'all give me a balloon the next time? Actually, for next Wednesday, I'm going to post about the ratings. And I would like someone to give me a prize. Because apparently, that's kind of how it seems like on Twitter and... Jesus, wrestling Twitter be on a whole other level. Y'all be on some serious shit. And it's not that serious. I've been saying this over and over and over again. It's just wrestling. It's not that serious. And for y'all, oh man, this past Wednesday, you know, I wish I was wearing my Chris Jericho he 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 shirt right now. Because, man, he got y'all. He got y'all so good, you little smart marks. Matter of fact, you know, in my last video, I kind of described y'all as a bunch of cornets who just want to talk shit and all this lovely dovey stuff. But y'all are a bunch of Kevin and Karens of the wrestling community. What did you say? Yeah, that's right. I call y'all a bunch of Kevin and Karens because y'all be so extra. And like I said in my last video... I am not a fan of those who tweet at the wrestlers about whatever's going on in the product or they get sucked into the storyline and they have to complain about it and they want to run to the wrestler and their Twitter and bitch about it. I said this before and I'll say it again. We are so lucky to be able to actually communicate with these wrestlers on the internet. You know, back in the day, back in the 90s, early 2000s, the only way we were able to meet or even talk to our favorite wrestlers is to either go to a show, get a photo, go to a meet and greet. Now we have the internet. We're following them on Twitter, on Instagram, sometimes even on Facebook. They sometimes talk to us. You know, the past couple of weeks I've been fortunate to, you know, be tweeted by some wrestlers based on my makeup looks or whatever tweets I put out. And I think it's cool. You know, it's really, really dope. But Jericho got ya because... Thursday morning, actually he's been talking about this for some time because first of all, he's a la champion. The man can do whatever he wants. The man can get away with whatever he wants and we all know that. He's been around forever and to this day he is still relevant. And he called out a lot of on Twitter saying, oh, NXT won in the ratings. NXT won in the ratings. Now, I don't know how the ratings work. If I just see numbers, let's say AEW got, I don't remember the numbers from past Wednesday. Let's say if they got 780,000 and then NXT, I think it's like 600 or something. Those kind of might be the numbers, but like I said, I do not remember at the moment. Y'all were tweeting at Jericho. And he basically said, okay, y'all won in the numbers, but we won in the demographic of 18 to 49. Like I said, I did not know what any of this means. If I'm watching wrestling, I don't want to do math. I want to watch wrestling and enjoy the product. So the way he explained it was that is the demographic that everyone is focused on. The, eight, the ages of 18 to 49. AEW has won that constantly. I don't, I don't know if NXT has won that demographic. Like I said, I don't care. I just like the product. And he called a lot of y'all out on Twitter talking about, yeah, y'all won in the numbers, but we won in the 18 to 49 demographic. A lot of y'all didn't like that. And not only did he tweet it, if you guys have been following him since, I think, the beginning of our quarantine session due to COVID, he has been doing a lot of live Saturday night live streaming shows on Facebook. They're really fun. They're like um, Q&As and stuff. He broke down how the ratings work. And he spoke about the demographic. 
lucky us, he has blessed us with his presence on AEW this past Wednesday. And he once again <laughs> let us know how it works. <laughs> and it was just, it was so funny. And it was so wonderful because Twitter was just going crazy. We had all the WWE people. Oh my God, Chris Jericho is on AEW talking about ratings. Man. That's, you know what? But he did it to prove a point. Y'all keep tweeting at him about how NXT wanted the ratings and he's telling y'all how the ratings work. And now he has won. Well, actually the product, AEW, has won the demo many times. And he has made himself the demo god and you know what the man came out with a shirt the next day and i want it i want the demo god shirt i tell you this man is on a whole other level and to be honest i just do not think i can't think of any wrestler right now who's kind of on his level when it comes to promos and just putting it all out there in AEW. They're letting them do whatever the hell they want. Jericho, all those promos that he's been cutting, those are all his. And he lets y'all know that AEW's been winning in the demo, the, yeah, the demos of 18 to 49 and basically in all of the ratings. And I thought it was genius. I thought it was completely genius. And man, like I said, Twitter was not having it. And this is another thing. Y'all get so butthurt whenever someone from AEW talks shit about WWE. It's a business competition. And it's just, it's funny. And that's why I said I don't, I don't understand why the war is still going on. You know, every, almost every day I go on Twitter and there's someone just bitching about, Oh, WWE is better than AEW. Like I said, some of y'all AEW fans by Beeson, but let me continue. Oh, no! AEW is better than WWE! No, it's not! AEW keeps making fun of WWE! Well, WWE makes fun of AEW! Well, they started it! No, they didn't! You know... <laughs> if y'all watched my last video, and... I said, if I remember correctly, whenever I hear or read things like that, I hear cat sex in my head. The sounds of cat sex. I apologize if I offended anyone. Like I said, no cats were, you know, injured or being forced to do anything. Those are just sounds. But there is another sound that comes to my mind. And man, oh man, I cannot describe it. But this is the new sound that comes to my mind whenever I hear wrestling fans crying. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a pleasant sound at all, but I'm sorry, that's what y'all sound to me. And it really needs to stop. Like, at the end of the day, it's wrestling. We win at the end of the day. That's why I said I don't care about ratings. I don't care about numbers. At the end of the day, we win. We get bomb-ass wrestling on two different programs every Wednesday. What we freaking do? It's all about competition. And we can have fun and play around and talk about which company is better, things that and the third. But some of y'all be so extra. And I don't know if it's because of the quarantine or anything, but I remember when I got back into wrestling, I don't remember anything. Anything people talking about, you know, the ratings were. You know, I will watch my SmackDown, I will watch my Raw. You think I would go on Twitter or Facebook and be like, oh, look at the ratings for, you know, Raw and SmackDown. No. Now, they got competition. AEW is in the mix, and all y'all care about is the damn ratings. I bet half of y'all don't even remember some matches that happened a couple weeks ago because y'all are so caught up in this whole rating system. It's just wrestling, people. Y'all need to cut it out. It's just wrestling. So another thing that's been really bothering me lately in Western Twitter, y'all really be on a whole other level. I'm not saying all of it is bad. There are a lot of good people on Twitter, but some of y'all, like I said before, love to be tagging people and saying horrible things. I will never understand that. So we already know WWE got into a lot of shit because they weren't really following the COVID-19 safety rules, social distancing, six feet, wearing a mask. Before you say anything, 
Y'all can talk about AEW, but they have made it known. Every time they go into the building, they are getting tested. If they're positive, go home. If they're negative, they can stay. I don't know if them being outside is a better factor to them, but we haven't really heard anything about that. When it comes to WWE, we heard a lot of their talent got the virus, including Renee Young. Here's what I'm talking about when y'all getting at people on Twitter. That poor woman, I do hope that she gets better. She got the virus, and there were a lot of y'all who gave her support. I was one of them. Because I I would never, ever want to wish anyone bad. I would never want to wish anyone sick. Anything like that. There were a couple of us on there who were sending our prayers, hoping she gets better, and all that good stuff. There were a lot of y'all who were going off on Twitter saying she got the virus, so now there's a big possibility that Moxley's not going to fight at Fighter Fest. Let me tell y'all. When I found out that Renee Young got COVID, I did feel bad. It is horrible. Moxley is her husband. I kind of had a feeling that we weren't going to get that match because their husband and wife, she got it. There's a huge possibility that he would get it. All of y'all were on Twitter bitching about it. Oh my god, is Renee Young's fault that Moxley's not going to have his match at Fighter Fest? How can she do that? It's WWE's fault. They should know better. And y'all were getting at Renee Young like it's her fault that she got the virus. Um, hello, do you see what's wrong here? There is a lot of talent, including Roman Reigns, who will not go back to WWE because Vince was not following protocol. There were so many people that got friggin' the virus. And before y'all say anything, QT Marshall on AEW, yes, he does have the virus, but he does train with people, I think, part in WWE. They're all in Florida. They're all friends. So I think he, he was training with someone who had the virus. Now he got it before y'all say anything. Like I said, there were a lot of talent in WWE. He got the virus. Renee Young got so much shit. And fucking wrestling Twitter was bitching. Because Moxley was not going to have his match. Y'all know me. If y'all been watching me sometime, y'all know I love Moxley. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. But when I heard that, I felt really bad. And, you know, if he couldn't have his match at Fire Fest, we will get another match another time. This is not the first time that he was in a situation where he had to be rescheduled. And y'all were coming at her, adding her like, oh my God, it's your fault. This, that, and the third. Really? Instead of wishing the poor woman well, you're getting mad at her because of something that was completely out of her control. I'm sorry. That was just... <clears throat> sorry, I was getting a little heated, but it is very frustrating because at the end of the day, it's still wrestling. We have been in quarantine all this for the past couple of months. We will be fine. If there is a missing match from the card, they made it up. Thankfully, Moxley did not have the virus, and boom, we got our match at Fire for the Fallen. But oh my God, it was I was just I was disgusted. I was so so disgusted. And some of y'all really need to take a look at yourselves because y'all take this wrestling shit too damn seriously. Y'all don't care about anything else. And that was very, very horrible. And I felt so bad for that woman. There were even some of y'all making memes about sending her pictures of her being old. Like that filter, that old age filter that you were sending to her. Like, what the hell? And y'all be serious about it. It's like, I, I can't. We're going to play that sound again because that's how y'all sound. I swear, man. I'm just, I'm really, I'm really annoyed by that. I really am. Like, you don't wish people sick. There are, like, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who have died from this virus. And all y'all care about is a stupid fucking wrestling match. Even before that, Roxy had put out a tweet, or think he had an interview talking about how crazy he is about his wife, how much he loves her, how they have sex all the time, and y'all was getting offended. It's like, what the fuck? Like, People, y'all get so caught up in the characters. They're characters. Wrestling is a business. 
It's a job. People's health comes before that. Y'all really need to take a look at yourselves because y'all be on a whole other level and it's not cool. It's really not cool at all. And it's little things like that is what making people leave the community. And I'm gonna jump on that, but I'm gonna finish this eye first and then we're gonna get on that. Let's see what y'all did. Y'all made me go Amy Winehouse on my liner. I didn't wanna go this thick. I'm actually really upset about that. I am really upset about that because y'all got me so mad at all this bullshit that I gotta fucking do a thick liner. Y'all ain't shit. Sorry about that. Just, you know, the bullshit be real. And y'all know what I'm talking about. So what was I saying before? Yes. So I was talking about the whole Renee Young situation. And it's little things like that as to why people are leaving the wrestling community. Now, oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. I called y'all before the Kevins and the Karens of the wrestling community. You smart marks. And I have a reason why. You know, in my last video, I called y'all a bunch of cornets because y'all just want to know everything. Y'all want to talk about, oh, what's going to happen in the match before it happens. Oh, oh this is going to happen. So and so is going to do a Canadian Destroyer and they're going to give the belt to this person, that person. Yo, y'all really be pissing me off. Like, I get it. Y'all want to watch the program. You want to... Just know what's going to happen. That's not fun. That is not fun to want to know what's going to happen. When I'm watching wrestling, I don't want to watch it with someone. Don't get me wrong. Every time I'm watching either, you know, AEW or WWE, and let's say we're watching at the same time, we do talk about the match. We give our predictions of who's going to win, this, that, and the third. But then there's Yah that be like, this is going to happen because I said so. Because this is the business. This is how it works. So, a lot of y'all are not in the business. How do y'all know what's going to work? You know, I'm not going to lie. There are some matches, there are some things that are just a little too predictable. That even a casual wrestling fan, hell, someone who doesn't even watch wrestling can predict. But I hate those who just got to say something because they know it. Because they know the business I don't know about y'all but I feel like the quantity of wrestling fans is just getting lower and lower and lower people don't want to be in a community where everyone just thinks they know everything to be honest I don't know about y'all but yo there are no more wrestling fans out there I mean we're still out there but we're getting so clouded with the bullshit and I don't like it at all I don't want to watch a show and someone talk about something that's gonna happen because of how they think the business knows if you watched my last fickle fans video I kind of got into some words with somebody because they were talking about a match I gave my two cents about it and they kind of gave me shit for it because, oh, that's not going to work out because that's not how it works. How do you know how it works? Are you on creative? Do you work for WWE or AEW and know their creative team? Are you writing the scripts? No. Why can't we just watch the product? Why can't we just enjoy it? And that is the problem. Too many people aren't enjoying wrestling anymore. And <sighs> look, here's the thing. I know there's been a lot going on the past couple of months with you know, quarantine, the speaking out movement in the community. There's been a lot of shit going on in the wrestling world actually this year. And I don't blame people wanting to leave because of the bullshit that's going on. But there are a lot of people who are leaving because they just can't deal with the fans. And to be honest, half the time, I don't blame them because it's not fair. It's not fun anymore. You guys do know that wrestling is sports entertainment where you see two men in the ring in underwear play fighting. They're professional play fighters. What did you say? I know y'all don't want to hear it, but it's true. And y'all just take this shit so fucking seriously. And 
I, I feel like I said this so many times in all of my videos because I know how the wrestling community is. But I know a lot of people who just want to watch wrestling and don't want to be a part of the community. You know, I have a friend who he watches wrestling, but he doesn't talk about it a lot. And whenever I want to talk to him about it, he doesn't really want to talk to me about it. And I get it, you know. I mean, there's better things to do than just talking wrestling. But there are just some people who don't want to talk about it because they think the person that they're talking to is a freaking smart mark. Or, I'm sorry, a, a Kevin or a Karen. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Y'all really need to stop. Because it's people like y'all is ruining the sports entertainment for us. We want to watch a show. We want to have fun. We want to cheer. We want to boo. I don't want to watch a show and be like, so and so is going to win because they wrote it like this. So and so is going to win because we synced it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have been watching wrestling for a while now. And before I used to be all about why is this going to happen? Why is that going to happen? And I've gotten to the point where I guess certain things are done in shows better for the business, better for the viewership, better for the storylines. Sometimes they're not our favorite decisions, but I kind of think about it as, you know what, I may not like this decision, but I get it. So let's see where they go with it. But no, you got those who just think they know everything. Sweetie, y'all don't know anything. Unless y'all part of the creative team, y'all don't know shit. Sit down, watch the product, and shut up. It's just wrestling. And the face is done. I apologize. I got so caught up in doing my makeup. I had a lot more to talk about, but unfortunately, time is up. But I actually going to be making this into a series. So watch out, you fickle fans, because I'm going to come at y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you would like to know all the products I use to create this look, it will be in the description box down below. Please be safe. Take care. And don't be a dick on Twitter. Just stop it. Just watch wrestling and have fun because at the end of the day, it's just wrestling. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.